in the form of a green space deliberately left in the middle of the houses to preserve 5,000 years of history. Henges like this are one of the few monuments that categorise the later Neolithic period, and that alone makes it very special. But to have two next to each other, like we have here in Bulford, makes this site pretty much unique. You see, it wasn't just a case of the bulldozers rolling in and the building work beginning. Before anything could happen, the archaeologists got to work. I'm heading for Wessex Archaeology, just a few miles up the road from Bulford, to see how important that was. I think it's probably one of the most important projects that has ever been, that has ever been undertaken in the Salisbury Plain area. Phil is showing me just a tiny fraction of the finds. I mean, here you've got a sample of axes. Now, I was digging up there for about 18 months. If you excavated a pit and it didn't have an axe in it, you felt hard done by. I have never, I've never worked on a site where I found so many axes. And, and on their own, usually you look at them and think, well, I don't know, that's nothing special about that. But put them into a handle and you've got a very, very functional tool. See, something like, I don't know, something like that. Pretty much the same tool, really. Scores of cutting arrowheads were also found alongside the more unusual, like this striking piece of pottery. Probably ceremonial in use, but decorated with an amazing rope and knot pattern. We've got pottery exactly the same as this being made on Orkney, just a little bit earlier than they were starting to lay out the groundwork at Stonehenge. Every now and again, we get these little snippets of material like this. Mm. But what we've got at Bulford is we've got it in quantity. We've got boxes and boxes of this stuff. That's what makes Bulford so special in relation to Stonehenge. But that's my personal opinion. I know there are other people who say that other parts of the project are more important than this. They're wrong, of course. <laughs> <laughs> but the finds weren't limited to the Neolithic. A striking series of First World War training tunnels dug through the chalk were discovered in Lark Hill. I, I view Salisbury Plain as being just about the best archaeological landscape in Western Europe. It's just got every period. And, and the fieldwork that's gone as part of the Army Basing Programme has uncovered elements from each of these layers, from the modern First World War period, right through to the Neolithic. And it just emphasises what an important landscape it is, but also um, what good custodians the Ministry of Defence are, I think. So while families get used to their new accommodation, they could just be wondering what other secrets lie ready to be found just outside their front doors. Tim Cooper, Forces News, Bulford. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.